what I really wanted to capture was people's hearts, people's felt sense. The 100 days of beach cleans, which I did two years ago, I did because I'd become disconnected from nature. I'd become too busy to go on my daily beach cleans. And so I wanted to hold myself accountable by going out into nature, into the elements, every day for 100 days. And I really wanted to connect to the plastic on a deeper level. Connect with nature, but also connect with plastic. I wanted to feel the sadness, feel the problem, feel the overwhelm. I wanted the plastic to speak to me. I wanted to get to know the plastic more intimately and to really feel within my heart what I was fighting for. And so that really was the driving force behind the 100 days. The long-term vision was to turn every single piece of that plastic, large and small, dirty, broken and ugly, into something that others could then be moved by and into something beautiful. I wanted the plastic brought in by the tide to carry a message that others could hear. But I really had no idea at the time how I was going to tell that story. But that's how I work best, without a plan. Instead, by inspiration in the moment, allowing ideas to come to me. And those ideas came to me when I was immersed in nature. Because to me, nature speaks. I hear her stories when I'm present and still enough. And so the stories and poetry within the exhibition are more nature's stories than my own. I actually think that's what people were surprised by. They came for an art exhibition, but soon realised that it was so much more. It really is an exhibition of many facets. I love storytelling. And so I wanted the stories to capture people's hearts, to speak to people of hope, of sadness, of heartbreak and overwhelm joy and gratitude, the full array of emotions that I felt through my beach cleans. What I wanted to do was to draw people into their hearts so that when they came into the exhibition, they could really be present and feel and come out of this place that we're so often in, in our heads, our minds, our thinking, our cognition and instead to drop into their body. It really was the most beautiful thing for me to witness hundreds and hundreds of people feeling deeply, being brought to tears and brought to sadness, experiencing the juxtaposition, the inner battle of being immersed in beauty, yet feeling so much pain simultaneously. It was a sacred time for me to hold a space for that. The amount of plastic was nothing astronomical. I do believe that everything there could have been collected in one day with enough people at the right beach. Although a lot of people were really surprised by how much was there and what was there. And perhaps people didn't realize just how much is in our environment, on our beaches, in the oceans, daily. I think it gave a good representation as during the beach cleans. Some days I simply took a small handful and I spent only a few minutes, whereas other days I had hours and I got bags full. The exhibition takes you on that journey. It takes you right from day one through my diary entries and images over the span of the 100 days and the feelings I went through, the battles, the joys, the surrender, the grief. It also provokes thought. There are a lot of questions left with the viewer to ponder on, to take home and sit with. There are some hard-hitting facts people may not have been aware of, and there are some gentle reminders and calls to action. I think what brought people to speechlessness and astonishment was just seeing it all in one place. This made it really quite unique and really powerful and gave an opportunity for people who are not exposed to the plastic pollution crisis to realise just how tragic it is. And I think this exhibition brought that home.